Welcome to this configured terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. This is a short sample from our CCNA voice course, which you can find at configuredterminal.com. In this sample, we are going to look at the setup of pickup groups, which are a common requirement in telephony deployments. In the full course, we discuss the Cisco Unified Communications Manager features in a lot more detail. Our CCNA voice course prepares you for the ICOM 640-461 exam, which is required for the Cisco CCNA voice qualification. I hope you enjoy the short sample from our CCNA voice training course. Let's get started. Pickup groups allow a user to answer an incoming call that rings on a telephone other than the user's telephone. In other words, if you and I are in the same office and your phone rings, rather than me walking to your desk, I can press a pickup key that allows me to receive your call. So in other words, if a call is made from 1000 to 1001, so 1001's phone is ringing, and the user at 1002 either hears 1001 ringing or gets a visual display on their phone that the phone is ringing, the user can press the pickup key, O pickup key, or group pickup key, and then receive the call from 1000. Thus the user at 1002 doesn't need to walk to the telephone and manually pick up the handset. The user just presses a soft key and thus receives the call. The first thing you need to do is create pickup groups. I'm going to create two. So you go to call routing and then you click on the call pickup group menu option. Click add new. So the first group I'm going to create is sales. A telephone number needs to be allocated to the group, so I'm going to give it a number of 2000. And then you can give it a description. I'm not going to specify a partition. You can also have notification settings. So for example, you can say, give me a visual and audio alert, or just an audio alert, or just a visual alert. You need to be careful with audio alerts because it can get very irritating if your phone continuously rings when other people in your group are receiving calls. You can decide what you want to display. So we're going to display the calling party and the called party. Click Save. The reason why you'd want to display this information is you might not want to pick up all calls. So you can see who's calling who and then decide whether you want to pick up the call or not. Let's create another one. Call this tech pickup group. We'll give it a number of 2001. We'll set the same information as before. But in this case, let's change it to an audio and visual alert. And we'll leave these blank and click Save. I'm going to go to Device, Phone. What we'll do is we'll put 1000 and 1002 in the Sales Pickup group. So you click on the phone, click on the line, and scrolling down, you'll see this option here call pickup group. So we're going to put this phone in the sales pickup group and click save. I'm going to go back to my list of phones, click on 1002 and put it in the same pickup group by clicking on the line. So we'll put it in the sales pickup group and click save. And then once again, we'll do this on 1001. 
So click on the phone. Click on the line. Scroll down to call pickup group and in this case we're going to select tech pickup group. So just to show you what we've done The two London phones are in the sales pickup group and the New York phone 1001 is in the tech pickup group. So to demonstrate this, note 1002 and 1000 are in the sales pickup group and 1001 is in the tech pickup group. I'll go off hook on 1001 and make a call to 1000. Notice what displays on 1002. You can see that the call is coming from 1001 going to 1000. So I could go off hook and press the pickup button. Notice the call is forwarded. It was originally for 1000. Now I can answer the call. I'll just go on mute. So the call was originally made from 1001 to 1000. 1002 had visual notification of the call. If the phone is within hearing distance, you'd also be able to hear the phone ring. You simply go off hook, press the pickup key, and you can receive the call. So that was an example of pickup. Now let me demonstrate group pickup. Please remember that 1001 is in a separate pickup group to 1002. So I'll make a call from 1000 to 1001. On this phone now I can go off hook and press group pickup. It tells me to enter the group pickup number which in this case is 2001 and notice the call is now forwarded to my phone and I could answer that call and in this case I'll end the call. So in this example, 1000 made a call to 1001. 1001 is in a different pickup group to 1002. So for 1002 to pick up the call, you need to go off hook and then press the group pickup button and then enter the group pickup number. That works, but isn't that nice for users because they have to remember the group pickup numbers. And that's where O pickup comes in. Now the way OPickup works is that you associate pickup groups with one another. So once again on call routing, I can go to call pickup group, click on the sales pickup group, which has a number of 2000, but now scrolling down shows me associated call pickup group information. So I can select available call pickup groups which in this case is 2001 and add it as an associated call pickup group. Notice 2000 is associated with itself but I've also got 2001 associated with 2000 and click save. Now to allow phones to use O pickup you have to change the soft key template. So I'm going to go to device, device settings, soft key template. Click find and I'm going to change the London standard user template we created previously. I'm going to configure the soft key layout and notice now on the off hook state I can select other pickup or O pickup and move it to the right hand side. I'm just going to move it right to the beginning so we don't have to press the more button and click save. Click apply config to apply the config to the phones and click OK. So my phone is resetting and we're back. So let's make a call from 1000 to 1001 again. Remember please that 1002 and 1001 are in different pickup groups. So 
So now I can go off hook here and press O pickup. And notice the call is immediately forwarded to me. And I can answer the call. So just to make sure that you understand the difference. Calling from 1000 to 1001, going off hook here, and pressing the group pickup soft key means I have to enter the pickup group number before I can receive the call. However, doing that again, going off hook here and pressing O pickup means I don't have to enter the group number. I can receive a call immediately. So that's how O pickup works. Now you may have noticed that I had to go off hook before I had the O pickup or pickup button available and then when I received the call I had to answer it. You could change that functionality by doing the following. So to enable that functionality, you enable something called Auto Call Pickup. Go to System, Service Parameters. Select your server and then make sure you are looking at the Cisco Call Manager service. And then to find the option, I would suggest using the keys Control F and then doing a search for Pickup. And notice here we've got cluster wide features call pickup and you've got this option for enable auto call pickup. So this will automatically connect the call to the user as soon as the pickup soft key is used. Click save. So in this example I'll make a call from 1001 to 1000. Notice on 1002, I'm going to get visual display of that call. There you go. I'm going to go off hook, but notice when I press the pickup soft key, the call is immediately connected. I don't have to go off hook again. By the same token, phoning 1001 from 1000 and going off hook and pressing O pickup immediately connects the call. Once again there's no need to go off hook twice. Now a question that's often asked is which call will be picked up if there are multiple calls? And the answer is that usually within the same group the longest alerting call, in other words the phone with the longest ringing time gets picked up first if multiple incoming calls occur in that group. For other call pickup, priority takes precedence over the ringing time if multiple groups are associated. In other words, under call routing, call pickup group, looking at sales, notice we've got 2000 before 2001. So calls in pickup group 2000 will be picked up before calls to 2001. Another great feature in CUCM, which was not available in the really old versions, is something called directed call pickup. So the way this works is let's say I'm phoning from 1000 to 1001. Going off hook on 1002 and pressing group pickup I put in the number 1001 and I get the call. Notice I didn't put in a group pickup number, I put in the actual telephone number 1001. So to demonstrate that again, I'll phone 1000 and now press more group pickup 1000 and notice I get the call. So another great feature available in CUCM.
That concludes our sample of call pickup groups from our CCNA voice course. For more free information, please visit our blog at configureterminal.com. You can also purchase the CCNA voice course from our website at configureterminal.com. All the best with your studies and thank you for watching.